Yo, Kepe Sky here, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm making a pretty unexpected video. I did not plan to make this video until I decided to make the video, and I'll briefly explain what's going on here. We are sitting inside a 2021 Lexus RX 450H. This is a hybrid SUV from Lexus, and it's not my vehicle. I actually have mine in service right now, getting an update, and so they loaned me this one as a loaner vehicle until mine is done, but this one happens to have the Mark Levinson sound system, 15 0.1 speaker sound or 14.1 speaker sound system that you guys have mentioned to me to listen to because you said it was highly impressive. Now the place that I get my car service from Lexus is about a 25, 30 minute drive. And so I'm back at my home. And so I've had about 25 or 30 minutes to listen to the sound system. And I was taken back by how well it sounded. I was very impressed. And so that's what inspired me to make this video because I wanted to share what I thought about this system with you guys, especially because Lexus in the RX series is a pretty popular brand. So let's go with the overview of the system. We'll do a small little sample of it and then I'll tell you what I really think. So like I was saying, the Mark Levinson system in here uses 15 speakers. That's 14 speakers and a subwoofer to go with it. And it has an architecture of a, like a 7.1 channel system. So it gives you a really full enveloping sound. Now that amplifier is totaling a power total of 835 watts. So plenty of power for a space like this. Now these speakers are place pretty standard where you expect to find them. So you have three in the dashboard and they're a coaxial type of system. So it's a mid-range and a tweeter built in. So you have um, three speakers on the dashboard and then in the door card of the driver's seat and the passenger seat is another mid-range speaker that does most of the lower bass in on the front side of things. In the rear seats, there is another coaxial design, but separated. So it's a tweeter and a, a woofer down at the bottom of the dual card. So there's a total of four speakers within the second row. And then the third row back there also has the speakers towards the back. You can also find the subwoofer back there in the cargo area, hidden kind of built into the wheel well of the cargo space. So you get a really full sound no matter which seat you're sitting in. Now, just like most cars now, Lexus offers this option to have a surround mode to kind of help envelop you in that sound. Me, I've never really heard a difference. There's a little bit of an effect there, but it's either on or off. There's not like a level to it. And so it's either on or it's off and there's not much difference to it. I personally leave it on because it adds just a little bit louder of volume, but overall it's not really, uh, it's not really helping or hurting the sound. So I just leave it on. So the system is powered by what they call Grace Note. Grace Note is the people that makes Lexus's um, infotainment centers, their radios. And so Mark Levison is their speakers and their tuning. But Lexus also throws in what they call Clarify. And it is a really nice little touch, a little technology to the sound that takes compressed audio and restores some of its um, compressed sound into more natural sound so that you're more enveloped in the sound. Sounds more warm, more, warm, more lively, more energetic than it would normally. So if you're somebody who uses Bluetooth as your main audio or you use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you may have a compressed file that doesn't sound so good. Well, Clarify will allow you to um, restore that sound and make it sound a little bit more lively and, and kind of restore some of the energy that's lost when you're streaming your music or when you're using Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So it sounds more like it's hardwired than it does being transferred through the air. And so it's a really nice technology. It's done automatically in real time. So you don't have to turn it on. You don't have to toggle it, turn the, the level of it up. It does it all automatically. You never know what's happening, but it does really good. And it works on all sources, not just Bluetooth, but any kind of compressed audio, maybe FM, AM, something of that sort. Now, because this is a luxury vehicle, all the materials in here are incredibly well built, which only helps the overall sound. Having a thicker door means that the bass can resonate and fire into the cabin, that it's more sound deadened, so the outside noise, the environment around the vehicle is dampened. And because this is a hybrid vehicle, it's also just more quiet, quieter naturally. And so there's more of what's going in here that stays in here and what's outside stays outside. So it just overall adds to the overall sound system. Now, even though this is a premium sound system, you only get a few options to tune it. You get your typical bass, mid-range, and treble. And so bass affects everything, not just the subwoofer, but with the door speakers, and so does the mid-range. So you gotta really play with that. Um, but you can get a really nice sound in here, and I like it a lot. So I have prepared a few clips for you guys. I'm going to change over from my microphone to the stereo mic, and let you guys take a couple seconds to listen to some little samples, and then we'll see what we think. 
All right, guys, that was the little performance demo of the Mark Levinson system. I'm gonna keep it short and concise. I think it's a phenomenal system. It's, it's one of the top systems that I heard. It beats the Harman Kardons out of anybody's car, whether it's Mini Cooper or it's a Mercedes. It beats the JBL systems out of Toyotas. It beats the Bose system out of Infinities and Nissans and stuff like that. This is really good. I have not heard a Bang & Olsen system yet. I haven't heard one, and I think that would probably be the big battle between the two. So I'm interested to see if I can find a vehicle that has it in there, but this is top notch. One of the biggest things that impressed me the most, I don't know if it came through on the camera, but that sub back there and all the speakers, they get down to 20 hertz and it's audible. You can hear all the way down there and that's impressive. There's a lot of aftermarket car audio that does not get anywhere close or maybe not all the way down to 20 hertz. And that's impressive for a factory system inside of a, a premium factory system inside a luxury vehicle. I would love to see more automa automakers, more sound engineers allow you to do more fine tuning in the head unit than just bass treble and uh, mid range. I think you should do more when you have a system like this. I know it's tuned pre-factory before it comes to, to your home, but I would love to be able to kind of mess with it and really change a little bit of it because just like any factory system, there are some flaws. Like for example, this one can sound muddy with the wrong song. If you turn the bass up too high, it could sound really bad. Um, but when you put it just right, you can get a really nice sound. So Mark Levinson, you have a nice sound system in your RX. I love it. It sounds really good, plays loud. And then the last thing I want to say is, even though it gets loud, it has a lot of bass, you hear no rattling. That's just the benefits of being an Alexis and being an electric vehicle. The materials used in here, again, really help the overall sound and keeps everything inside and everything unwanted is out. And so really solid sound system. I wouldn't 
really see a need to upgrade the sound system. If you have this vehicle, there's probably not a need at all to, to upgrade any of the speakers. They sound phenomenal, unless you just want it to be a little bit louder. So fantastic system. That's gonna do it for this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what kind of premium sound systems have you heard in your time? Name those sound systems and what do you think? Did you hear Bose? Did you hear Mark Levinson? Did you hear Bang & Olufsen, Harman Kardon, JBL? Did you hear uh, Rockford Fosgate, maybe Beats Audio? Have you heard any of those sound systems in your car? Let me know what you thought about that down below in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you guys in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace.